we queer up sports. RuPaul's Bob the Drag Queen reflects on WWE and why, why wrestling is inherently kind of gay. His time with WCW would come to an end after he was fired for blading during the infamous King of the Road match at 1995's Uncensored Pay-Per-View, something which was strictly against WCW's corporate policy at the time. On a side note, if you've never seen the King of the Road match, you have to go back and watch it, because it really has to be seen to be believed. It featured both Dustin and his opponent, the Blacktop Bully, fighting in the back of a moving truck that was covered in hay. The goal of the match was to climb to the front of the truck and be the first to sound the horn, truly one of the strangest matches in wrestling history. But that was in Dustin's past now, and he had to start looking towards the future. What he didn't realize at the time was that he was about to stumble into what would go on to become the defining character of his career. In August 1995, Runnels returned to the WWF, this time debuting a new character called Goldust. Goldust was androgynous and sexually suggestive, an old Hollywood-obsessed drag queen who adorned themselves in gold, looking like an Oscar statue and going by the nickname The Bizarre One. Legend has it that when Vince McMahon initially pitched the character to Dustin, he accepted immediately, jumping at the chance to work for WWF again. Then, once the call was over, he immediately picked up the nearest dictionary so he could find out what androgynous meant. Needless to say, he was surprised by the answer and quickly became concerned about what he had gotten himself into. There were also rumors around the time that the character was just one more massive rib that the company was playing on the Rhodes family similar to how Vince had Dusty dress in polka dot ring gear when he had wrestled with the company previously. Well, the season eight winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, Bob the Drag Queen, spoke about her love for all things wrestling during a January 31st episode of the podcast Stradio Lab. And she specifically spoke about her love for WWE legend Dustin Rhodes, formerly known as Goldust, and why he is a great example of how queer wrestling really is. She said wrestling is inherently kind of gay, and she gave Goldust as an example. She talked about his gold and a black leather suit, uh, wearing golden face paint and sporting a blonde wig. He was also nicknamed the Bizarre One due to his often creepily flirt flirtatious demeanor. 